Well, let's say hello once again to our tennis insider, Catherine Whitaker, who's keeping us abreast of any stories across the world of social media throughout the championships as well. And you've got a lovely heartwarming story for us, I understand. I do. It's a real-life fairy tale. Marcus Willis, you can be forgiven if you haven't heard of Marcus Willis, because he's ranked 775 in the world. He's qualified for this tournament, come through qualifying, beaten some decent players there, Andre Rublev, a really talented young Russian. And today he will take to court 17. He's last, last on. He will play Ricardis Barankis. Just to give you an idea of how big a story this is, he's 25 years old. He's been slogging away for many, many years. His nickname used to be Cartman because he was carrying a few extra pounds. He lost all that weight. He decided to give it one last go. He was going to pack it all in, move to Philadelphia and become a coach. His girlfriend, his new girlfriend, who he credits with all of this, persuaded him to give Wimbledon qualifying one last go. And he's made it into the main draw for the very first time. If he were to do the extraordinary today and win, he would probably play Roger Federer in round two. And just to give you another bit of perspective, regardless, even if he loses today, he will take home 30,000 pounds. His prize money for the year to date, 50 pounds 74p. Oh my goodness. And so no matter what happens, he's taking home at least 30,000 Minimum 30,000 pounds, maximum 50,000, could be playing Roger Federer. I'm sure that would be on the centre court. I mean, it's just extraordinary. Can you imagine what the atmosphere is going to be like over on court 17 when he plays later? My goodness, congratulations to the girlfriend that gave him, you know, a bit of a nudge to, to continue with qualifying. Can you relate to that, Mark? The fact that if you perhaps over exceed your expectations before the slam even starts? No, I mean, what a a beautiful Cinderella kind of story. You can't help but 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 you know go go for him today. Um, it just shows you pay your dues. You, you keep your head down. You keep fighting. Keep fighting. Keep training, and never give up. And, and, and good things can happen. You know, no one can stop you. And that's the great thing about tennis. You pay your dues. You do your thing. Um, and 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 no one can can stop you if you, if you have those wins. And in his hometown, I mean, his, his home country to play his Grand Slam. I'm sure something that and I actually read his interview and it was such a beautiful story and I really hope he wins today. I would love to see him play Roger on hopefully on center court. What an incredible way to maybe end his story or continue it.